We have always said, meron kaming sinasabi, yung halimbawa, yung, yung, yung mga properties namin na nasa, nasa pamilya na mula po, mula, bago pa nag-1965, bago pa nag-1972, nasa, nasa amin na. Sinabi niya kanina na you're looking for a ways to tulungan ang administrasyon sa ang bayan. Uh, may sinabi dati si Presidente Duterte mga last month yata na uh, merong lumapit sa kanya na representative from your family na nag-offer ng uh, magsoli ng yaman, that was his term, including some gold bars. Can you give us the lowdown? I cannot because wala, wala pong masyado pinag-usapan. Ma'am? Look, ang position ng mga Marcos has been consistent since 1986. Na unang-una, kailangan natin i-settle to dahil masyado nung magulo ito. This is not, uh, uh, this is not helpful kung nang unang naitutulong ito. And we have always said, meron kaming sinasabi, yung halimbawa, yung, yung, yung mga properties namin na nasa, nasa pamilya na mula, po, mula bago pa nag-1965. Bago pa ng 1972, nasa, nasa amin na. Eh, so sinasabi namin, yung kung anong ma, kung meron kayong hanap, hinahanap, hinahanap na kailangan na maghanap, meron ang katago. Sabi namin, kung meron ka sa, sa panahon, tapat ang paniniwala ninyo, meron kami tinatawag, kung meron kayong mahanap, inyo na. It is called in legal terms a quit claim. We have issued that quit claim since the Ramos administration. Uh, in fact, we 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 had already uh, we had already signed an agreement on that basis with Chairman then Chairman Gunigundo of the BC, then of the who was then Chairman of the BCTG. Pero ayaw lang ni ayaw lang ni Ramon. But that has been the consistent position of the family, and I think that is what Gov Aimee expressed to the President. We're always willing to settle. Pag pag-usapan natin, ano ba pwede gawin para matapos din po. Tatlongpong taon na ito. Anong kaso ang kilala at alam ninyo na tatlongpong taon hanggang ngayon, hindi pa wala pang ebidensya, wala pang pinakita, wala pang hindi pa tumunta. Because it is in the interest, the partisan interest, again, of the same people na keep it alive. Para may away, para may away. Ayaw nilang ipag ipagkaisa ang Pilipinas kung may hatiin. Because you know, they are not working for the national interest, they are not working for the good of the country, they are working for the good of their party. That is the difference between Duterte and his opposition. He is trying to work for, nakikita ng taong bayan, that Duterte is working in the national interest. Whether or not you agree with him, I think that people can see, sincerely wants to make things better. At the mga taong to, they do not, they, it's not a question of sincerely wanting to make things better. It's a question of paano ako tanggalin yan para ako ang umupo dyan. So what was the agreement between the, the governor and the... There has been no agreement na wala pang usapan. And the lawyers, I think, have made some uh, preliminary discussions, pero nothing has been decided. Sir. Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. <clears throat> Nothing substantial has been decided yet, even the process, how we, who will be involved, etc. Are these stocks continuing? Um, sporadic. Sporadically, I think. I don't think there's a, there's a weekly meeting or anything like that. And you mentioned something about uh, you needing um, immunity from suit or something like that? Is, is that a demand on your part? No, no, it's a settlement. What we're talking about is a, a settlement. They were not asking for it. Wala naman ako kasalanan eh. I don't need immunity. I didn't do anything wrong. I did not commit any crime. Immunity I from the future suits. No, 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 no. What we're saying is we're settling the case. You're settling the case. Parang mag-adjudication adjudica tayo. We're, we're fighting over a piece of land. We get an adjudicator to come in. What they decide is they will settle that tayo. Agreed ka, agreed ko, tapos na. Wala ng kaso. Nobody, no, lang yan, no, nobody files against you. Don't file against me. I don't file against you. Mm -hmm. No, pusang kaso. Do you have an estimate kung magkano yung under litigation pa? Not un under litigation? Wala, wala. <laughs> Well, it, we, we have, we, the Marcos family, are not parties anymore to the, the 
all of yung ginagawa ng PCGG, uh-huh. it's already it's already with the government. So that 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 has kaya nga eh, you cannot ask me that that question. I cannot rather I cannot answer that question. Kasi nga sinasabi hindi nga wala na kami alam. Kung meron nga kayong makita, eh, di kunin ninyo. Quick clean na. Hindi, hindi talaga amin niya. I don't know. Look, look, look. First, I am not privy to that to that uh, conversation. Uh, all I know is that the I, 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 have, I, have exp- I have expressed to you the same position that the family has held since 1986. That we have identified uh, whatever belongs to the family. Uh, the per- provenance of those assets, those properties, whatever they may be. And if the government is saying na may tinatago pa kami, sabi ko, we will help you find it. And you can have it. Quickly. Of course, I'm sorry, I'm not. And I reiterate my position, which I said last week. Sinabi niya sa akin, there was only 7,000 pounds. Well, I'm sorry, you're saying you you confirm it with her. He's the man that opposed it. But I cannot change the story because you see now being started. Kala Pasi Ivy, Fabini Ivy. May you have to come up in this one. You can confirm it with Ivy. She told me that and she even said it. She would have to see the Manila with the subway system if I wanted to. Papasubi na yung pera ng Pilipinas sa mga gobyerno international. But you figure, ay nagaling yun. And then I watch her in a television program, prime time, where she presented all the certificates. Punong-puno yung kwarto, may nakakapal. Pero naniwala, sabi ko, sa toong pala yung sinasabi niya. Sir, nasaan yung binag? Ano na yung nangyayon sa kanya, hindi ko alam yun. Ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, sinabi niya yun, dahil ang sabi ni Congressman Suarez, ang minority leader, hindi nila alam. Ako alam po, dahil narinig ko, eh, this is what goes. Kailan yung sinabi sa inyo? Maganda eh. And I was in no position to even inquire further because he was not trabaho yun. Kaya alam. Nung napanood ko siya sa television, when she presented it, if I'm not mistaken, the DNA, pinakita niya isang kwarto yung certificate of deposit of gold. Binasa ni ng boss. Sabi niya ito, dyan ito, sabi niya, dyan ito, dyan ito, dyan ito, dyan ito. So, why don't you inquire from hell para magkaroon ng development yung yung figure? Dahil wala naman dinayal eh. Wala din ang vision. Oh, oh. Big Mac, sila totoo mga meros lang kaya nagtapang sa sa pinto. Hindi naman niya inaamin na ninakaw yan eh. At maka hindi nga ninakaw. In fairness to her. Ano ang kaso nun? In fairness to her, sinabi niya, hindi namin ninakaw yan. Yan talagang ang hiling ng dating Pangulo. Mag-ipon, mag-ipon ng bomba. Pinataba yan, nag-iipon na ng gold bar yan. Nung nagpakasal kami, marami ng gold bars yan. Ano ba naman? 20 years ago may power. Marami na kami na pili. Marami na kami na pili. Eh, dumami yan, dumami. Nag-comment ako na yung gold bar yung 7,000. Ang marami yan sa Fort Knox. ブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルーブルー